I'm Amy. Um, I'll be looking after our WSL teams this year on, uh, on a medical point of view. So I'm a sports therapist um, and I'll be leading the medical uh, side of things this year. Obviously any injuries that happen at the moment, girls um, report to me straight away um, and I, my, um, my job role I guess is to get them back to, uh, get them back to competitive play as, as, as quickly um, and as effectively as, as I can. My name is Darren Barber. I'm currently the Academy and Youth Psychologist uh, for Oxford United. Um, last season we did a little bit of work with the ladies first team. Uh, we're progressing that this season as they uh, progress up to the WSL. Most coaches and players I think alike would agree that it is an important aspect, but the, the, the issue is it's, uh, how do you measure it, how do you improve it, how do you develop it. Um, that's always a tough question and that's uh, really what kind of my role is, to try and get in amongst the players, in amongst the teams and to, to help pinpoint characteristics that you know, successful athletes have and then try and teach these skills to the players. Hello, my name is Joe Collins, I'm a condition coach for the Ones. Uh, I've recently, I've recently completed my master at UIC. Um, before, before that I was you know, well, I was wondering what was a career in the military but I know, for, you know, for a few injuries had to, you know, had to brought about a change and now I, know, you know, I think I'd say I'm enjoying what I'm doing now, it's a new experience and it's good to work with quite a you know, you know, young developing side like this. I'm quite impressed with the progress I've made in quite a short amount of time, and I'm looking forward to sort of you know, putting that progress further as we get closer and closer to the, uh, at the beginning of the season. I'm also, looking, I'm also enjoying seeing how some of the work I do in the gym or in the conditioning, or obviously with conditioning, is affecting that on-field performance. Uh, my name is Luke Taylor, uh, head of sports science for the women's side this year in the WSL, alongside that head of academy sports science for the club. So we look after all players under the age of 18 as well as the, the women's side. So at the moment we're kind of still in the sort of early phase, it's quite general, so there's been a lot of extensive running, um, quite a lot of uh, lifting weights, trying to get them strong, trying to make them robust, we're trying to make them sort of, it's the early stages, so we're trying to get them fit, so it's what often players, the bits that players don't like, so the long distance running or the, the stuff where there's a lot of repetition, but we're having to work them hard really, and that's where we're at at the moment, it's going to become more speed specific as we come closer to the season but we're a few weeks off right now. So my name's Kieran Hayes, I'm the head coach for the ladies first team and I work with the development squad as well. I think everything's in place for the squad as a whole to go and be successful. I think we've spent a lot of time before pre-season organising, planning, preparing and I think we'll be ready for the challenge. My name's Alan Foster, um, I'm the ladies uh, goalkeeping coach. Um, I've been involved with the girls' centre for six years now um, and I was asked to, to coach the ladies' goalkeepers as well, which I think is a real honour um, considering the, the level that they're playing. I mean, it's probably ten years ago you were talking very few teams had a goalkeeping coach, um, but I think uh, people have realised now how specialist position it is. Um, so, yeah, that, that's been an evolution in, in, in the management team of the football club. Um, and we take, I take them away and, uh, and we'll work for, you know, we'll do good sessions every week and we'll work on specific handling, crosses, uh, whatever. We do a lot more work now with, with back passes and with the feet since that rule evolved and, uh, and changed. So, yeah, it is a specialist position and they do need specialist work and training um, just to get, them, um, to get them to perform at their best. My name's Johnny Edmonds. I'm development team manager for Oxford United. Um, work at the club full time as head of academy recruitment. We've got a fantastically young little set of players. I think our oldest player is the captain with Stacey. The rest of them are really all under 19, so we've got a really good sort of base ground for them to sort of bed in, watch the first team and work alongside the first team really hard and obviously learn and develop at a very good standard of football at WSL. My name's Les Taylor. I'm um, going to be the ladies' first team manager. I, I, I was involved initially as a player. Uh, with Oxford United, um, then played at different clubs in a, in a playing career, then came back to Oxford as a um, youth development officer. Uh, more recently I've been academy manager looking after the boys academy um, and I've taken on the last two years technical director for the girls set of excellence. So probably the next progression for me would be to get involved with the ladies. Um, so this year I'm going to be manager of the ladies first team. So uh, a, f a few of the girls that you're, you're going to be managing, have you seen them kind of come up through the, the centre of excellence and, and things like that as well? You know? Yeah, it's a, this is a good mixture. Um, you know, we've got a little bit of experience, which you need in all teams to bring the youngsters through. 
and we've got two or three of the youngsters who've coming through the uh, the girls' centre of excellence into the first team, which is always a great plus for any football club. And um, it's a big season for the club. First first season in in the in the WSL. How do you think they're going to cope with this step up? Um, hopefully they'll all think it's in, it's going to be enjoyable. It's all going to be fun. It's all going to be new. Uh, it's an exciting new adventure. It's the next stage, you know, with any teams who get promotion, um, you always look forward to the challenge. So it's a massive challenge for us. Um, there'll be ups and downs, hopefully a lot more ups than what there are downs. Um, but from a personal point of view, I'm looking forward to it and I'm, I'm sure all the ladies are looking forward to it and everybody involved. Richard Blackmore, General Manager of the, of the Women's. Um, really just to, um, just General Manager to look after uh, the Women's. Uh, making sure, um, just from an overseeing point of view, that you know we all the staff structures put in place. Um, you know, from sign-ins really down to making sure uh, you know kits ready and done. So it's really sort of looking after everything. We've got the same same staff, a couple of new additions, but realistically the same staff we've had right from the beginning. It's been hard work by everybody all the way through. Um, but no, it's you know it has been hard but it's been rewarding as well so we're really really pleased the way we are and um over the last few months obviously things have been gradually gearing up for the for the wsl how much needed to be to be done to get the club ready um i mean we do we did do a lot anyway um i think the the main difference for us is just to making sure that you know everybody was ready and prepared um for you know for, for the task ahead no everybody knows it's going to be a you know it's going to be a difficult task it's like what we said you know, in previous interviews, is we're all going to have to be, you know, staff and players, we're all going to have to be at um, eights and nines rather than you know, at fives and sixes in, in, in really performance levels on and off the pitch. So it's just making sure there's consistency all the, all the way through and we're ready for the task ahead, that's all.